This is for the still single bitches out there like, that's that shit that I don't do because I only do that shit for my man. Well listen here you silly bitch. No honest man is going to be with a woman that he's unsure of being able to please him. And I say honestly because deep down in his heart, <laughs> that man knows that if you are unable to please him, eventually he'll cheat on you. And it's not because all men are dogs, it's because a lot of women can step their pussy game up. And when I say pussy game, I'm just not talking about sex. Many women spend most of their lives fussing about wanting a good man, but most of them don't even fucking qualify. No good man will accept a woman that he cleans better than him, cooks better than him, smells better than him, dressed better than him, and works harder than him all at the same damn time. And there are actually good men out there that know how to cook, clean, and take care of the household on their own. So if he's involved with a restricted ass woman that does nothing, he starts having those thoughts like, why am I fucking with this useless ass bitch? If I made this bitch my woman, how would she be able to compliment my lifestyle? And men think like this because you know that there are more women out there that are on that shit than me. So with that being the case, men feel like they can always go out and find a better bitch. So before you get mad at them for ending up in a relationship with a better bitch, and leaving your restricted ass alone, look at the long list of shit that you didn't do for the nigga while he was fucking with you. So before you bitches go out and actually trying to find a person to make your boyfriend, drop the fucking restrictions and get your certification. And I know a lot of these motherfuckers sitting there with the fucking baboon head scratch when I say certifications. What I mean by certifications is the shit that you should already be good at or willing to get better at before you try and make a man want to be with you. Certifications such as giving good head and sex certification, good housekeeping certification, being a good social bitch certification, and going beyond the please your man certification by doing things such as ass in the air, she up on the ball, keep that pussy popping, do it fast, do it slow, nasty. Well, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't get these certifications, somebody else will. That somebody will be the infamous ugly bitch. Yeah, the ugly bitch that you and your friends blame for taking your man. The ugly bitch that most likely looks better than half of your best friends. Oh yeah, and the ugly bitch that cooks better than you, clean better than you, is cooler than you, sex is better than yours, and oh yeah, the most painful. She is the bitch that he would rather spend time and chill with before he even sit down somewhere and lose his fucking mind with your boring ass. Pow. So bitches, before your single ass slip up again and tell this nigga what you will only do for a nigga that's your boyfriend, come to your fucking senses and realize that this is the 21st century where kissing a nigga on the cheek on a first date is considered a fucking insult. So you need to lose those 19, 20 ass ways and maybe you can keep a nigga interested for longer than six months. You mad?